Hey, welcome to T4 Adventures. Today we're going to talk about the first five upgrades you should do to your side-by-side. -side. First of all, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I uh, appreciate you being here, dropping by. Hopefully you'll be part of the community. Uh, <clears throat> Before we start today's video, I want to tell everybody that I do have the... I do own the Kawasaki Terex uh, 4 SLE, so it is the special edition. Is the 2023 model. So the first mod that you should do or accessory that you should add is well this one here is not going to be counted as one of the five because it should just be an automatic. It is your fire extinguisher and fire extinguisher mount. Uh, that should just be an automatic. All right so number one uh, this is going to be in no particular order. Uh, this is kind of the order that I did add to my side by side so i started off with the mirrors the side mirrors i did get those from the dealership they are a kawasaki brand uh, they didn't have any rear view mirrors at the time so i did purchase this particular rear view mirror off of amazon uh, i'll leave links in the description box below to uh, any items that i've purchased outside of the dealership so the side mirrors uh man you got to have them <laughs> these are definitely a must have uh, for your side by side, it's going to be hard to contort and look around to see your surroundings behind you. There's going to be a lot of times where you're backing up, and this is a big rig. A lot of these side by sides are pretty good size. You got the roll cage. Go ahead, get you some side by some side mirrors, and definitely get you a rear view mirror. <clears throat> Very handy to have. This particular rear view mirror, I really like it because it has one singular clamp. Instead of the two singular clamp or two clamps, uh, this one's very adjustable. Uh, I really like upgrade number two is windshield. You can get away with a lot of riding without a windshield. You don't really know that you would miss a windshield until after you have a windshield, and you're like, "Man, I can't believe the difference." It makes having a windshield. <laughs> it really does. Uh, dust. Flying grasshoppers. Uh, precipitation. There's uh, wind. Uh, if it's in the cooler months, the cold air keeps it off of you. Man, it makes a huge difference. We're getting a visitor. Hello, Denver. Come here. Come here. Hello, Denver. We've got a visitor here. <laughs> So I'm in my field out here in front of my house. We have a... Uh, come here, Denver. What you doing, buddy? Hey, old there. Hey, old Denver. He's a curious donkey. So we have five acres here at my property. And we're just out here in the field. Uh, these donkeys are very curious. <laughs> so the particular windshield that I got, uh, I went with Super ATV. It is a split windshield, so you are able to... Pull it down, it has nice gas struts. There is a position right there that keeps it vented, so you can keep debris and stuff from hitting you in the face, but you still get air ventilation right here. And you can just close it all the way up for those cold days where you don't want any airflow coming through. Works great. And then it's real easy just to go ahead and open it. Those gas struts. <clears throat> what do you think, Denver? What do you think, Denver? Denver donkey? Denver donkey? <laughs> Alright, upgrade number three. This was a complete game changer for me with this side-by-side -side and the capability of this side-by-side. -side. Tires. I went with 30-inch tires. Sedona Trail Saw 30-inch tires. Uh, the ones that were on here, I, I believe they were 27 inch, uh, <clears throat> more incapable. It just the machine rode a little bit short. I was finding out. What are you doing, Denver? Hey, don't break my side by side donkey. So I found myself <laughs> just a couple inch short on that. Uh, ground clearance to be able to get to some places that I normally go to. 
There's an OHV park uh, not far from here. Uh, there is an old riverbed full of rocks. I was bottoming out a lot with the old tires. The new tires, I don't bottom out. So with that being said, the 30 inch tires raised me up about two, almost a little over two inches in clearance. And it kind of made the machine a little awkward, like it was tall and narrow, it seemed like. <clears throat> so which leads to my next upgrade is Super ATV aluminum spacers. So I went with two inch all the way around. Uh, that did widen my stance and it really stabilized the side by side. It actually feels a lot better when you're driving it. The steering feels better, turning, cutting corners, a lot smoother and easier with the two inch spacers. So with the last upgrade, is due to the previous two upgrades is the fender flares. When you get your 30 inch tires and you widen your stance, that creates a new problem for you. <laughs> Unless your uh, vehicle already comes with widened wheel fairings or flares or whatever. Uh, when I went two inches wider, my tires exceeded any kind of wash protection that I was getting Basically, I was getting none, so any kind of mud, anything was just slinging all over me and everybody in here in the cab. So, Super ATV mud flares, installed those, great upgrade. Well, there you have it. The top five upgrades you should make for your side-by-side -side as soon as you can. I want to thank all the current subscribers for coming back and viewing my videos and giving me that thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. This is a great community to be a part of. Uh, Man, you guys are great with the interaction with my videos, the thumbs up, the comments. Uh, <clears throat> I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Uh, I want to let you know there's a current series going on on this channel, uh, the Alpine Loop in Colorado. Uh, I've uploaded about six videos. We've probably got about six or seven more. So I hope everybody is enjoying those Colorado videos because uh, we got some more coming. The man has some gorgeous scenery and uh, going up some trails and some passes. Uh, definitely look for those 